Access to safe water and sanitation is a fundamental human right necessary for human survival, good health, and also one of the first steps to poverty alleviation and development. Despite this, it is still a dream to have access to safe water and adequate sanitation facilities for many citizens in developing countries. Water Aid, in collaboration with Freshwater Action Network, has been strongly involved in the Governance and Transparency Fund program funded by the Department of International Development, UK. The GTF program, first of all, aims to improve accountability and responsiveness of the duty bearers by strengthening the capacity of the citizens to hold them to account. What happened over the, f the past four years and nine months has been incredible. I think in most of the countries, they've been huge success. Very successful stories, very positive stories of citizens being, um, uh, being empowered to hold the governments to account. The program has been implemented in 16 countries across Africa, Asia and Central America collaborating with more than 30 civil society organizations, including national civil society networks and community-based organizations. In South Asia, GTF is being implemented by FANSA and five of its partners in two countries, India and Bangladesh. The GTF program has totally in South Asia focused on most excluded communities who have a lot of vulnerabilities and also hard to reach communities. Since its inception, now coming to five years of implementation, the program has made significant achievements empowering citizens in different countries to engage in water and sanitation decision-making processes at different levels. The GTF has helped us you know, to achieve in Ghana is the empowerment of the citizens and the local government agencies. We have been able to sensitize the community members, we have been able to sensitize the citizens, and they are now able to rise up to demand for their rights and entitlements in so far as watch is concerned. The GTF program has to a large extent um, developed the capacity of um, the civil society implementing partners um, in Nigeria in um, empowered them enough to be able to engage with um, government at national, local and at the state level. The, the profile of wash issues have been raised in the media because of this collaboration. The GTA program has been able to empower communities to do advocacy on their own. The communities have come to a point where they realize that actually water and sanitation is a right that they need to benefit from. GTF has helped us to uh, take forward the rights-based approach to development, whereby we are seeing communities involved in the development processes of their country, especially in the wash sector. Initially, spaces were there, but these communities could not uh, utilize them because one, they were not aware and they didn't have even the capacity and the skills to engage the duty bearers at that level. Uh, since we started, local CSO uh, get empowered. They work with the regional water and sanitation network and following on that, the regional and local authorities start to become more and more ac accountable. In water sector, but also in other sectors, they start interacting with community, with citizens, and take into consideration whatever their needs are. Following the implementation of the startup of the GTA program, the Water Sanitation Forum is able to build the capacity of the member organizations in the forum. Uh, there are many capacity building activities and programs which are implemented by the support of the financial support of the uh, GTF, which uh, enables you know, these members to engage in different sector platforms at national level regarding the water sanitation and hygiene programs. The Governance and Transparency Fund partners are using different approaches to empower communities to demand for accountability and responsiveness from governments and service providers. In India, Right to information is one tool which has been uh, exclusively uh, has been used, and uh, this tool has helped to promote transparency, seek transparency from the government, and also accountability. Know what is the services available to them, budget available to them, and therefore that helps them to demand the government through various means like petitioning and phone calls, postcards and also various other means. We've tried to use the local development plan as a tool 
um, to strengthen the capacity of local governments to be able to plan more effectively. In Uganda and Ghana, the GTF implementing partners have attained excellent achievements through working with media to push for water and sanitation issues high on the political and public agenda. Media has been a very, very important tool that has been used by GTF to try to bring out the voices, the community voices, to amplify the voices, to scale up the voice of the community and to replicate what has been achieved from one community to, to the other communities. When we are going to the communities to sensitize, to create the awareness and then to create the demand for services, we move with the media. So these media are able to cover the activities and then publicize them. The local government agencies are now put on their toes. So that when they budget for these activities, they want to make sure that those allocations really go direct into the services that they are going to provide. The GTF partners also carry out awareness raising initiatives like community situation analysis, social audit, and water point mapping to generate evidence for engagement with duty bearers to respond to citizens' demands by providing appropriate, good quality water and sanitation services. GTF partners have also developed concrete strategies to ensure that their advocacy work continues long after the program ends. In all our programming, in all our project designs, we make sure that we incorporate the aspect of policy and advocacy. People have moved away from the wash sector addressing all the issues of the wash sector, they are able now to influence in other sectors like health, education, agriculture, using the same skills that were imparted with the support of the GTF. We are able to um, embed some of these lessons, some of these approaches, some of the strategies that was used in the GTF program in implementing other um, programs that are similar to um, to, to the GTF program and we support these particular implementing organizations to look for further funding with this evidence of learning, with this evidence of empowerment, with this evidence of being able to hold government accountable, we believe that other donors will be able to buy into the idea. We are doing the sustainability plan development. On the other hand, we are organizing a kind of dissemination workshop. This dissemination workshop is to sell and to disseminate our products that we, ha we already have produced for the last four years to potential donors. We want to upscale these learnings into you know, other geographical areas where excluded communities are living and really they are suffering for want of water and sanitation services. I think the emphasis will have to be on uh, planning for impact. We will need to ensure that all our efforts are structured and they are targeted. And that means the change that we want to see happen is where we will have to start from. And then we will try and galvanize the efforts of all the key stakeholders. GTF has helped us to move from a point A to a point B. And I think we will be building on the success that we already made in order to replicate it and to scale up, to scale up the achievement and to share that learning across um, the country across the regions, across the globe, because the GTF has been covering 16 countries across Africa, Asia and Central America.